Welcome everybody, I just wanted to do a quick overview of my solution to a uh, worldwide smelting setup. Anyways, this was first developed back before there was stacking in the game, and I haven't updated it for stacking or proliferation, um, but it still works pretty good. The thing I really like about it is that it, at a 100% power star output rate, where the plant's getting 100% solar output, this will generate, this can be running flat out without power hiccups. This star mat does 140%, and this, not all the smelters are running right now, so I'm only at 50% usage. Plus, I'm also running these miners all over the planet to gather up the nodes. It's not fully covered by uh, the solar panels yet either, and it has extra demand on the power grid because of these miners. Um... The one downside that I don't like about the design is that it had this huge band gap right here, which I just filled with accumulators because I had nothing better to put there because I didn't need to put power panels. Um, the power panels come all the way down to the equatorial band where there's that big band of... Uh, where there's the big band grid where... It's all one grid all the way down to the equator and all the way up to the next grid line right here, right here. Um, so that's where the, the uh, solar panels come all the way down. The last few areas down here aren't packed as tightly as they could be, just for aesthetics to make it look a little bit nicer. So you could pack even more solar panels on the shells, on the two hemispheres. Um, up near the pole it's more tightly packed, which leads to some weird situations. But, uh, it works pretty good. On high demand ores, I put in these helper inputs, which are, um, shipping out the finished product for their segments refining. While the inputs are these two in the middle here, which input the ore with their warpers and vessels. They gather and they gather up the silicon through the belts and distribute that smelted product via drones out to these, which use their vessels to ship. These this one has both input and output helpers. I forgot about that because I was experiencing a lot of silicon draw. Um, so it has helpers that I put in there. All of these buildings, all of the um. ILSs are set to be 150 megawatt power charge. And the PLSs draw in, demand in their uh, ores and then push the ores out to the various smelting lines, which then ship it back into the, you know, PLS. And then the PLS ship those out via their output, whoops, output segments here, back into the ILS. And there's two halves for each half of the, uh, there's one ILS for each half of the uh, equatorial grid. So it works out pretty nice. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick overview. I really was trying to describe this a, f a few times on a few different uh, YouTube videos. And it just wasn't getting across very good what I was trying to say, and so I decided to make a YouTube video and give you guys a visual of how I play the game. Oops. Missing one there. wonder if the other side's missing one. Lol. But yeah. This is it. My factory. Oh yeah, it is missing one. I need to update. Oh, this one has a... Uh, no, it's just missing one. Okay. I need to update that uh, blueprint. Well, yeah. Give you a quick overview. This is what it looks like. In all its glory. Looks really nice.
All right, everybody, have a good one.